నమస్కారం వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ సనాతన్ ధరం ద బేసిక్ హిందూ రిలీజియస్ ఐడియాస్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ కర్మ పార్ట్ వన్ వాట్ ఈస్ కర్మ కర్మ ఈస్ అ సంస్కృత వర్డ్ విచ్ మీన్స్ యాక్షన్ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ జనరలీ యూస్డ్ టు మీన్ a certain definitive connection of what is being done now and what will happen in the future things do not happen by accident by chance in a disorderly manner they happen in regular succession they follow each other in a regular order if a seed is planted in the ground it sends up little stem leaves grows on stem and flowers come and then fruits and in the fruits are the seeds again and again one of these seeds planted will produce a stem and leaves and flowers and fruits and seeds the same sort of seed produces the same kind of plants rice produces rice barley produces barley wheat produces wheat thistle produces thistle cactus produces cactus if a man sows thistle he must not expect a crop of sweet grapes if he plants prickly cactus he must not expect to gather juicy apples this is karma and a man knowing it sows the seed of the thing he wants to reap this is the first thing to remember understanding action now an action is quite a so simple thing as it look it is not if i ask a person why do you want to walk to town he will say i wanted a pair of shoes and i thought i could get them there or i wanted to see a friend and i thought he was in the town and so on. and in many ways but always i wanted i thought and therefore i acted these are the three things which are always found together action leads to desire now a want is what is called a desire we desire to get something that's the first stage then we think how to get it that's the second stage then we act as to get it that is the third stage this is the regular order every action has a thought behind it and every thought has a desire behind it and these three things action thought and desire are the three threads that are twisted in the cord of karma here's a story related to action thought and desire which leads to karma It goes like this. There are two skilled pickpockets, a man and a woman. They fall in love, get married. They are very happy and they are blessed with a son. They hope that he would be even more skilled at pickpockets than they were. To their horror, they found that the child did not open the fist. How could he be a pickpocket? His parents wondered. Finally, when he opens his fist, they found it in his little hand there was a golden ring worn by the nurse who had assisted with the delivery skillful from birth isn't it this story may be an exaggeration but it demonstrates an important point action thoughts desire lead to karma with this we come to the end of karma part 1 we will come back with karma part 2 shortly till then keep watching keep liking keep subscribing thank you so much have a great day ahead namaskar